Hello and welcome to this new video tutorial of multi-window expected delivery plugin and in today's video tutorial we'll be showing you how the admin and the marketplace sellers would be able to set up the expected delivery uh, in days uh, for their uh, products so uh, we'll be taking you to the uh, back end and the front end for the uh, sellers as well and we'll be showing you how the plugin can be set up and how the customers would then be able to uh, what we say as uh, check the estimated time in days for uh, getting their products delivered on the zip code that they have entered on the product page itself. So uh, before we begin uh, further, let me uh, give you a small gist of this particular plugin and thereafter we'll uh, be demonstrating you the same. So basically now the customers of the Magento 2 web store or the multi-window marketplace web store would be able to check the estimated time in days for delivering the products based on the zip codes that they have entered on the product page or in the cart or at the time of checkout. So within the plugin, the store owner and the marketplace sellers can easily set up the regions, create shipping rules, can uh, uh, upload in bulk the zip codes uh, via a CSV file or the uh, comma separated value file and can show a custom message when the product is not deliverable at the entered zip code to the customer. Apart from that, the admin and the marketplace sellers for the products can set up the holiday which can be as a fixed or a recurring one as required under their own uh, configuration settings under their own account panel. So let's get ahead and let's see how this particular module works. So I'll be taking you to the admin end first and then we'll be showing you the seller end and then the uh, customer's workflow for the particular plugin. So here I'm at the uh, web store backend for the admin. So I'll be logging into my admin backend panel first. And uh, after you successfully install this uh, plugin, that's the multi-vendor multi expected delivery plugin, then uh, under the uh, menu option that is the marketplace management on the left hand side on the side panel, you'll find here uh, one option expected delivery date. And here we have three different options that need to be uh, configured. So for the admin, we'll be showing you these three options first. So let me open all the three of them one by one. And I'll, taking, I'll be taking you through each of these settings one by one. So let's go to the general settings first. So here we are on the general settings for the multi-window expected delivery plugin. And here what the admin can do is he can set up uh, different options like uh, the admin would be able to enable this particular plugin. The admin would be able to set up the uh, custom message uh, that is shown uh, to the customers uh, on the product page itself uh, when the delivery is not available uh, uh, for uh, the selected uh, uh, product. So for that the admin can enter the message here as you can see here we have this option delivery not available message. So uh, the admin can accordingly set up the message for the customers there. Apart from enabling the module, uh, the admin can also set up the delivery day or the date range message. So the admin can set up the date range uh, uh, message here. Apart from that, the admin can set up the specific delivery day date message as well, as you can see. So for the first one, we have set up the product will be delivered in from and to days. For the specific delivery day date message we have set up, products would be delivered by dash to dash days. And this is the uh, default one uh, when the product is not uh, available at a particular zip code that has been entered. Apart from that, the admin can also set up the weekends for his particular store. So we have set uh, the Saturday and Sunday as the weekends. And uh, lastly, we have the holidays. So here the admin can uh, set up the holidays for his store. So uh, the admin can choose the duration time and uh, the admin can be specific for his duration time when there will be a holiday for his store by choosing a date from the calendar here. Apart from that, the admin can also re remove uh, a holiday that he has already added by tapping the remove button on the right hand side. So that was uh, how the admin can set up the holidays by choosing the duration type as specific. We can add more holidays as well. We can also change the uh, set the holiday to start within a range. So if we have chosen range from and to, then we can choose the duration from when in up to 
uh, which date the uh, store would be set up as closed and lastly we can also choose it as a recurring one so for example in a month uh, we have a 24th date or a 27th date uh, when we have our store closed so for that specific uh, day we can always choose it as a recurring so that every month on that particular day uh, our uh, store is shown as closed so these were the basic uh, general settings that need to be done by the admin initially and uh, the same is to be done by the sellers uh, under their own account panel now let's uh, navigate to the rules and regions and see how the admin can create the regions and can then apply or select the rules for each of the created regions so first let me take you to the re uh, rules section so uh, as this is just a demonstration i've already cre created uh, some rules so there are around five rules that i've created uh, for uh, the united states and i've enabled them all so under this section the admin can find all of the rules that he has created from the drop down he can delete these rules he can also filter the rules uh, by choosing the estimation type and the delivery type as well whether he uh, apart from that, you can also choose uh, the yes or a no option or the enable disable option for filtering the rules that he has created. So uh, to add a new rule, uh, the admin needs to tap on the add new rule button. So let me open this up uh, first and let me show you how uh, the admin can set up a new rule. And uh, so here we have the rule details. So initially the admin needs to enable this app. The admin can set up the rule name, its description. Then we have the estimation type and the delivery type. Now the estimation type is basically it is displayed uh, uh, for the estimation in days and estimation in dates. So if you want to estimate uh, the product delivery uh, in days, the number of days, you can select the estimation in days. So the number of days would be displayed at the product page or wherever uh, it is visible. And similarly, if you choose the estimation in dates, then the dates would be displayed in place of the numbers uh, at the front end. Similarly, if you've chosen the estimation in days, you can choose the delivery type, whether you want to have it in a particular range from this uh, uh, within two to four days or five to six days, or you can choose to deliver on a specified date. For example, if we choose a delivery at a specific date, then we can set up the days. For example, it's uh, 24 today, and uh, or 25th today and i want the delivery to be precisely on 26th so what i'll do is i'll set up the estimation days as two when i've selected the delivery type as specific day and uh, we need to choose estimation in dates here so dates we have chosen as the estimation delivery at a specific day and the estimation for two days so if it's at 24 today when when the customer enters his zip code at the front end what he'll be able to see is he'll be able to see that the particular product is uh, ready for delivery on 27th of that particular month. So this is how we can create the rules. Let me take you back. So I've already created a number of uh, rules here. So after you've created the rules, what you can do is you can navigate to the region section. And here the admin can find all the regions that the admin has created to add a new region the admin can tap the add new region so for the time being let me tap on the edit button so after you have edited uh, the uh, regions uh, the admin can tap on the zip codes here to check uh, which different zip codes have been uh, uploaded for this particular region and the admin can also edit this particular region so i've opened the zip code section so here you will see all of the zip codes that i have uploaded so uh, now let's go to the edit region section. So here, uh, it's uh, just the same for the add new region. You need to enable it up. You need to enter the region name. Then you need to select the country. And for the rules, you need to choose a rule from the uh, uh, rules that you've just created. So here we have created the five rules. And here we have those rules that can be chosen uh, by the admin. Apart from that, the admin can download an example CSV file. Uh, wherein the admin can enter the zip to and zip from uh, uh, zip codes and then can upload uh, that particular CSV file by tapping the upload button here and then you can choose your uh, respective CSV file for example we have this particular file and you can uh, upload that and that would save the particular zip codes for this particular region that you have created so let me take you back now 
So that was how we can uh, add a new region. We can edit it and check these dead codes. So under the marketplace management, we are done with the general settings for the, uh, uh, what we say as for the multi-window expected delivery plugin. Then we created the rules. Then we created the regions and assigned the rules to the particular regions and uh, we uploaded a zip file for that now let me take you to the web store front end and let me show you how the customers would be able to see uh, the estimated delivery how they can see so uh, what i'll be doing is i'll be tapping on the edit button so i've just added one particular region here so for the time being i'm just demonstrating you how different uh, 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 probabilities can be checked so for the time being i've uh, selected the rule as one all right so now let me go to the front end so let me go to one uh, product. So now let me go to the product page of this particular product. So after you've pretty, uh, successfully installed this particular plugin, now you can see this particular boxes here, uh, wherein we can tap the check uh, option to check whether this particular product is available for our uh, uh, zip code location. So right now uh, you can see that uh, the enter zip code is 9017 for California. So if I tap it as check, so we have the option that says uh, the message that says that the products will be delivered in two to four days. So this was for the date range. Uh, let me tap this up. Let me open this up. So we had chosen the uh, rule, the rule one, uh, wherein we had chosen the estimation type in days and the delivery type in the range format. So the days and the range. So therefore we have uh, days in range, two to four days. Now, uh, what I'll do is I'll go to this uh, particular region once again, and I'll, I'll assign the rule number two. I'll save it. So the rule number two is uh, estimation in days. So the numeric values will be there, but delivery at a specific day. So we have set up two. So now let's uh, tap the check button. So here you can see that the products would be delivered in two days now. So exactly the specific uh, days in which the product would be delivered. So this was the rule number two that I had created. Now rule number three, estimation in dates, delivery at a specific day. So the dates would be displayed at the front end now. So what I'll do is I'll edit it up and uh, I'll be choosing the rule number three and uh, let me save this now let me tap on the check button so now the products will be delivered by uh, 2nd May 2020 as you can see here so that was for the rule that is uh, rule number three estimation in dates delivery at a specific day so uh, we, the product would be delivered by this. So uh, if uh, the customer enters a zip code like and taps enter, so uh, now uh, let me again take this uh, particular region that I have added and let's uh, check the rule number four. Uh, that's the estimation in dates and the delivery in the range so one to two days we have set the uh, uh, delivery range and uh, we have chosen the estimation type as dates so now let's see what happens at the front end so I'll choose the rule number four for this I'll tap the save button let's get back to here let me refresh the page once and this is my California uh, zip code the products will be delivered in so it's uh as we can see here it's uh, 27th here so the products will be delivered between 28th and 29th and this is because within the rule number four we had set the estimation in dates and the delivery in range and it was from one to two so that's why we are having it as the products would be delivered in the date range that is 28th till 29th of this uh, month. So uh, that was much uh, from the admin end for the multi-vendor expected delivery plugin, how the admin can configure it. So uh, now let me quickly take you through the uh, seller end. 
the same thing happens there as well the seller also has the three options uh, one is for the configuration the regions and the uh, rules are to be created so uh, let me take you to the front end first and let me log into my seller account it's already logged in so let me tap on the my account button so now on the marketplace uh, section here the block here we can see that we have the expected delivery data menu option and it has three different menu options let's open each of them so the very first step uh, is there is the general settings it's the same to enable or disable the particular functionality of this module setting up the message for the delivery date date range message setting up the specific uh, delivery date date message and the delivery not available message as well apart from that the sellers can now also set up the weekends for their particular store and the sellers can also uh, set up the holidays and can set the duration type for the holidays as specific range from two and the recurring types as well so here we have choose uh, set up the specific range from two and uh, recurring as well and i've already explained it for the uh, admins and and uh, similarly the workflow happens here as well and uh, if we want to check uh, we can also check the uh, de expected delivery uh, within the uh, view and edit card uh, section as well so we have this particular section here as well where the customers can check the uh, estimated delivery of a particular product within the shopping cart itself and uh, yeah, that was much about the uh, multi-vendor expected delivery plugin. I hope uh, this particular uh, demonstration helped you out to understand how exactly it works. And if you have any questions or queries regarding this particular plugin, then uh, you can always get back to us at support at the rate of webcool.com or you may raise a ticket at webcool.uvdesk.com. Thanks for watching this video and have a great day ahead.